I had to wait for it to finish the animations. Mm, yep. Now that I've saved uh, again, reset the game. The reason I changed the loadout to that, after you beat the game, you get special. The uh, special has a boss rush. The uh, a boss rush, it's uh, your uh, Julia. Uh, it's your file, but uh, level 40 and shit. You're on a timer, though I have everything from this. The timer doesn't matter. You have a, a set of items. You notice one, mm. one of the items in here was spoiled milk. That uh, because uh, it's rotten, the spoiled milk. It instantly dropped you to 1 HP. I'm doing that so I will uh, uh, get the lubricant boost. That's why I uh, quickly went in and saved. It was to uh, set up the like the file for the ball rush because if I uh, damn it wrong button because if I open the mm -hmm. like soul list and stuff, you'll uh, see we have those again rolling yes. rolling back to, because the uh, oh, damn it rolling back. Because the Ballish Rush ha has you basically, you have to beat it fast enough to get certain uh, items. Like I said, I already have those, so getting the exact times on those doesn't matter. This is part of the reason people will think the Man Eater was intended to be a, a boss fight, is because it's randomly in here yes. for er, some uh, reason. Now, because of the level count, this idea isn't as broken, but because I am at 1 H, if he was the Louvre, I can't, like, look at, like, look, one shot. One shot, because again, always uh, a face. Why did you turn into a sexy lizard woman? One shot. They give you orbs that can uh, heal you, but while the orbs can heal you, that you know we don't want that for this uh, a strategy. Again, look, look at how fucking quickly I'm doing this. Because they give you the healing items, but besides the healing items, they give you two items that uh, would actually like hurt you because they're expired food and uh, you might ask why would you want items that are expired food if uh, they if they could hurt you two reasons of one it's uh, one I think they are there so that you can use strategies like uh, this to get to to get through the arena and two the flesh golem uh soul if i remember correctly what the flesh golem does it lets you eat items like the spoiled milk and stuff instead of hurting you they would heal you so if you also like are playing a file with you know that soul unlocked it's mm -hmm. extra uh, healing items if you need it but again the primary strategy people uh use is uh, Oh. No, you beat him. Oh, that, that, that's amazing. That means I hit... I hit him, and then literally as soon as it swapped to the other phase, I beat him. Yeah. Oh, and the boss rush only goes up to Grant. The boss rush only goes up to Grant. You do not fight Chaos, and you do uh, not fight Julius in this. I kind of wish Julius was in, in here, because if Julius was in uh, here, you wouldn't have uh, had to do a weird... Uh, adding the, like, the one thing... We never had to do the weird adding the man eater. But again, when you when you are one HP a wonder, you see the amount of damage you're doing. Like a uh, Grant, I think only has yeah. I was gonna say Grant, I believe only has like two or three thousand health, so doing around five hundred again. It's just and it's just a potion. The oh new record. That means I actually did get the mm -hmm. a time for that. It was a a potion. The because and that's the game over or screen now i have to load into the uh, file again for or the last final thing there are three uh, rewards you get for or doing shit in the arena if you beat the arena and get the fastest a time if i remember correctly i think this is the fast one i don't remember which one of uh these falls into the a group each one you get excalibur it's stronger than the one sword it doesn't give you the other bonuses and it's uh, a holy so it seems good but the problem with it is you'll notice it's still stuck in the stone because the reason for that one of the like I think it was one of the artists wanted to have Excalibur in the uh, game, and they agreed to it, but then someone was like, wait, Soma isn't the King of England, so that's why they decided mm -hmm. to uh, do this. That gives it a really big hitbox, and again, I believe it is considered holy, but it's fucking slow. So again, I think it's rather er, terrible. That was one of the weapons you get. Uh, one of the other weapons, I don't remember what its name 
is. It's a, a sword I'd have to... The almond way? Oh, okay. That's why I literally... Do... Oh, yeah, there it is. Yes! Because I, I was looking for... Creates a blade vortex that slices enemies to pieces. It gives decent, uh, like, stats and stuff. It's the chrysogram. Oh. It, it like it's the chrysogram because the name chrysogram was I believe a mistranslation or something. Uh, that's well, it's that's not like you know it's in this game. It's not nearly as powerful. That's the other weapon you get, and then the final oh weapon you uh, get for the arena. Because this game is set in the future, the uh, a, a positron rifle. It is a giant fucking laser gun, oh. and because it's like so slow it actually has a confident attack so it is the only like good gun uh, weapon that was the last of things i was going like that was the last i wanted to you know show and everything was the the order is actually the um excalibur is the easiest weapon to get which is funny because people generally consider it the best the rifle is the middle one and the of all in ways, and the the, uh, the chrysogram is the a weapon that. Yeah. So, wait, no, not Excalibur, damn it. Where is the? The ones that have, don't have that. Uh, we have to save last yeah uh, uh, last thing now I'm not going to you know do it now because we are close to four hours so because we're close to four again not going to show it or anything uh, just the last thing because I've done another playthrough like I said second character or Julius I'll just have Julius at the uh, like and you'll see he's a well I say it man but I, I can't remember if I finished the jewel. Actually, yeah, you can plus unlock side. The point it basically is, like I said, a jewel. As you'll see, I had most of the map. Uh, it can uh, pleat for him. It's just uh, I wanted to show. You have the basic attack, the whip dangly. You press R to cycle through sub weapons, cross, the holy water, axe, and then grand cross. Yes. L is a dash because of the flashing effect. The dash is intangible, and uh, uh, Julius has the super jump. He always has 800 health. You don't have a pause because Julius, <laughs> the way he works, and uh, will go more into this when we record a, uh, record a Julius play through later because it will be infinitely shorter. Because due to no story <laughs> and cutscenes, you can literally just go in and order fight all of the bosses, go <laughs> to uh, Grant and, and stop. That's yes. the uh, and that's the thing I wanted to point out. The way Julius uh, works and shit is basically because he doesn't have a story uh, why well, you can't pull up a like pull screen to look at his level Julius does have an invisible level kind of every boss you beat those orbs that healed Solomon when they drop for Julius those orbs actually increase his stats you can actually get to Graham with no orbs I don't recommend doing it it's a massive pain in the ass and it makes Graham a massive pain in the ass but you can uh, do it while Julius's level I believe technically doesn't increase the stats too if you go look on the wiki you can find how much his stats end up increasing and that's why way back at the beginning of this i brought up if you kill mm -hmm. the man of core's head and tail at the same time you can actually get two orbs out of that and if you get two orbs out of that because the orbs increase julius you can actually increase his stats slightly <coughs> more than they intended so yeah this will be a like proper 100 uh, percent stopping now because i just wanted yeah, I'm just going to sit in the special menu so that the sitting in the sound test and shit so the game isn't going to constantly like load into uh, the title screen and stuff. That's it. That's everything. Show. Real shit we need to do. Like I said, I was like, because you basically need to cheese the ball rush to get the rewards because you need to beat it in like under three minutes or something. Four minutes. Four minutes for the chrysogram weapon? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Or so says the wiki I was reading. Mm. Usually fan wikis are accurate. If not, don't... Mm. 
Don't yell at me. It's within three to four minutes. Those are the numbers I see people saying. The fan way he said. And that was why I did. Four. And that was why I did the setup of the X. Like, X, lubricant, one hit point. When I was quickly looking for the prizes to stop wasting time. Yeah. Just a note for the Volstras. Most of the bosses have more health than they do in the story. Oh, I didn't know that. Funny. They were given more HP. Assholes. It said most of the bosses have more HP than their story yeah. mode counterparts. Yeah. Assholes. We, uh, uh, yeah, we can stop and do Julius later. I knew the wall rush would be quick and then yeah. quickly loading up. Uh, Julius just to show you have the sub weapons. Super jump. No story. The game is your oyster. Go. <clears throat> With all that said, I'm going to do my outro. The curtain's getting up. Take a minute. I've explained this before. Sometimes if I'm doing an outro, I start coughing or choking on some snot. I can't talk coherently sometimes. So, when I'm doing an outro, sometimes I will take a minute and I will use a successful bit of audio just because it's easier to cut to audio that actually is a proper outro and sometimes I make a note that I'm cutting sometimes I don't so I will basically try and do an outro so in editing you won't really notice it but I give myself a small moment of silence okay this has been the playthrough of Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow. It was a hard mode run. It was New Game Plus. The game is over. Didn't take that long. This was a way to do some Halloween stuff that is a little bit shorter, which is fine because I'm trying to balance around other stuff I was working on. And soon enough, we will have The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, which might be up a little bit before this final part. If the game shows up in a timely manner, but we were waiting on that. So to do the proper outro I'm going to, again, take just a moment. So, as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, everybody. I hope you come back someday. See you later. It's time for the question of the day. And my overall thoughts on the topic. So, anyway. What is your opinion on the boss rush and the weapons that you unlock for completing it fast enough? Overall, I think the boss rush is cool, but I don't think the weapons are worth it. I feel like you get far better weapons in the actual game. So, in my opinion, the boss rush is not really worth doing because I feel like the weapons are not really all that great, which bothers me because that makes the boss rush feel incredibly pointless. But anyway, you can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments, or you can leave them on social media. All of my social media links, as well as my Discord links, are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shill for a minute. If you subscribe to the channel, and if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope I will see you all next time. So, as always, good morning, good 
afternoon, good evening, and good night, everybody. I hope you come back someday. See you later.